He is known for being a Finnish-born philosopher who made significant contributions to the field of philosophy. He is recognized for his studies and research at Uppsala University, where he completed a theological degree. His name is Peter Forskell. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Peter Forskell, a Finnish-Swedish explorer and naturalist, whose extraordinary expeditions have left an indelible mark on the world. Born in Helsinki, Finland, which was then a part of Sweden, Forskell's early life was influenced by his father, Johannes Forskell, a Lutheran clergyman. In 1741, the Forskell family migrated to Sweden when Johannes was appointed to the parish of Tegelsmora in Upland. It was during this time that Peter Forskell's passion for exploration and discovery began to take shape. In 1742, he enrolled at Uppsala University, but later returned home before rematriculating in Uppsala in 1751. Embracing his thirst for knowledge, Forskell focused his studies on his own, immersing himself in various fields of study, including theology. In 1751, he successfully completed a theological degree at Uppsala University, marking the beginning of his illustrious career. Forskell's insatiable curiosity and desire to explore the natural world led him to embark on numerous expeditions that would shape the course of scientific knowledge. His travels took him to various parts of the world, where he meticulously documented the flora, fauna, and cultures he encountered. While Forskell's expeditions were wide-ranging, his most notable journey took place in the Middle East. From 1761 to 1763, he accompanied the Royal Danish Expedition to Arabia, led by the renowned explorer Karsten Niebuhr. This expedition aimed to study the ancient and contemporary civilizations of the region, and Forskell's role as the expedition's naturalist was instrumental in documenting the diverse ecosystems and species found in Arabia. Tragically, Forskell's life was cut short at the young age of 27. He fell victim to a fever during the expedition, succumbing to his illness in July 1763. However, his contributions to the scientific community and his dedication to expanding human knowledge continue to resonate. Peter Forskell's expeditions have had a profound impact on the world, transcending borders and inspiring future generations of explorers and naturalists. As we reflect upon his remarkable legacy, we are reminded of a man whose unwavering pursuit of knowledge and discovery left an indelible mark on the scientific community, Peter Forskell, a visionary whose legacy continues to ignite the flames of curiosity and exploration in all who dare to seek the unknown. In Uppsala, Peter Forskell had the opportunity to study under the renowned botanist Carl Linnaeus, becoming one of his esteemed students. However, his thirst for knowledge extended beyond botany, leading him to also study Oriental languages and philosophy under the guidance of Carl Aurelius. This pursuit of diverse subjects drove Forskell to travel to the University of Göttingen in 1753, where he furthered his studies and successfully obtained a doctorate with a dissertation on philosophy. After completing his studies in Göttingen, Forskell returned to Uppsala in 1756 with a new interest in economics. He aspired to delve deeper into this field, eager to expand his knowledge and understanding. However, his academic pursuits were not without controversy. In November 1759, Forskell published a politically charged pamphlet titled, Tanker O.M. Borgerliga Freiheten, Thoughts on Civil Liberty, in his native Swedish. This publication advocated for complete freedom of the press, a bold stance that challenged the prevailing political climate. As a result, the pamphlet was met with resistance and promptly suppressed by the authorities on the very day of its publication. The Hats government, responsible for censorship, warned Forskell through the royal chancellery, reminding him of the potential consequences of his controversial views. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.